Ladies, ladies and gentlemen, am I am I sharp? Am I looking nice? All right. Today I'm wearing my headset so I can look cool. I can hear myself because I like my voice. Actually, I don't like my voice, but hey, a lot of people like it, especially when I sing. Um, I have my my kufune. Uh, this is my uh, uh, my little bonnet uh, for praying. Uh, I got it in Qatar, actually. So. Anyway, I keep looking down because the monitor is down, so I want to make sure it's sharp because it's very, very hard to film yourself, especially with a camera that is not using autofocus like automatically. So I have to kind of focus it with my hand and then come sit here and make sure it's sharp. So I'm looking on the monitor, making sure it's sharp because the last thing I want to give you is some blurry face. Nobody wants to see my blurry face. I want to make sure you see it. Clips are clear. Um, anyway, I'm a videographer, so those little things matters to me. So if you could just excuse me, and I hope you can forgive me. Minun Suleiman Umar Jallo Mujalanta Jai literally Suleiman Umar Jallo, the one who does not laugh with, with any idiots, and you guys already know that. Today I have something very exciting that I want to share with you. I am from Niger, Mipulo Niger. A lot of people on the channel ask me, ask me, where are you from? Okay, they ask me, where is your Fulani from? And I'm officially saying it here today. I am from Niger, which is not too far from Mali, and I'm not I'm saying that because I also speak um Zabarma, which is a sub language of the Songhai people from Tobuktu. And today I want to share um, about Fulani culture, right? I want to share about a song. Unfortunately, it's not in the Fulani language. However, bear with me because it's going to be very interesting. It is in Songhai language, which I understand at 99%, maybe 98%. I speak Zabarma from Niger, Zerma, we say Zerma. So it's very similar with, uh, with the Songhai. So I want to share this Songhai song, but it is about a Fulani man and his cow. And he loved the cow so much, so, so much. And the name of the cow is Badje Bisinge, okay? In, in Zabarma, they say Badje Bisinge, but uh, Fulfulde is Badje Bisinge, meaning Badje is like the color, like the color of the cow. Not get badge. I think it's kind of like has a reddish, reddish color. Be seeing it. Badge, son of seeing it. Okay, we're talking about cows here. All right, and it has to do with the coloration of it. So Badge be seeing it. That's the title of the song. And it's by the Malian singer Ibrahim Hamadiko. But I'm going to play it and I'm going to tell you about uh, what it's saying. But it's really, really cool. I love this song so much. It's one of my favorite songs on earth. So let's hear it. So all this thing he's saying, budget be seeing it, seeing it, be seeing it. Like he's saying the lineage. He's like saying the names of the ancestors of the cow. Like the, this cow, budget is be seeing it, seeing it is be amari, amari is be. And he kept saying it. I don't remember them now, but you can you can play it in the song. You know. So he's saying is a cow. It's, it's a cow. He's saying Bajya is a cow that when uh, when when the mother gave birth to it, the mother died. Alright? So since then this cow, this baby cow, so a calf slept in the house with the owner so 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 when the cow was give uh, was uh, was uh, was birthed the mother died at birth and then the little calf slept with the owner you know how fulani people we love our cows and we i cannot say this that much like i mean the only people who love cows more than us that are indian because they they kind of think the cows are god so yeah that's it so Badja B. Singh and the owner slept in the same same room when he was uh, when he was a baby. So he's saying when the cow grew up a little bit, when it grew bigger, it could not go inside the house anymore because the, the, the door is too tight. The little calf, I mean, now it's not a little calf anymore, slept outside, but not anywhere outside. He slept outside where he can smell the odor of the owner, 
right? So he would like, depending on the direction of the wind, he will go and place himself exactly where he can smell the owner. You see the passion? You see the love here, man? I mean, this is amazing, man. I think this is amazing. Matter of fact, I am going to do a children book about it, and you guys, you guys are all going to buy it. All right? Yes. Promise me. If you promise me, if I have uh, one hundred people in the comment that say they're going to buy this book, I will do the children book. Wallahi azim. But it's a beautiful song. So. And that's what the cow did. It slept uh, outside where it can smell the owner. In Fulani culture, because we're talking about Fulani culture, in Fulani culture, a knight, a herd man, a herd man, and I used to do this personally. I used to do this. You will wake up around 2 a.m. or 3 a.m. and you go take all the cows and then take them to feed them again. All right, you go, you feed them, and then you come back and then you get milk. This is in the middle of the night. You get milk and then you put them back, you tie them back again to where, uh, wherever they, they, they're supposed to stay. So uh, if the owner is sleeping and he couldn't wake up, the cow will do everything to wake him up. He will make noise. He will come and, you know, like beat around the bushes to make sure he wakes up. All right. So he can go do uh, uh, majol. We call it majol. Majol is uh, when you take your cows in the middle of the night and you go feed them uh, so they can graze. All right, so that's what this little cow does. All right, let's play it a little bit. And then he put the head inside the house. And then he wake him up and they go, they go, they go to, the, uh, to graze. And he said, that place, they have so many lions and a lot of grass and a lot of uh, lions. And he said, even if when the owner is sleeping, while, while when they go there, the owner may fall asleep. That little that cow now is like taking care of the other cows. Mm-hmm. So he's, 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 he's saying, this uh, the cow he um, he really helped the owner. He helped him, and so because he had him, he had the help of the cow, he was able to rest a lot. So a lot of work he didn't have to do because the cow did it for him. It's really like a, 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 a human. It's like a human, literally. Yeah, it's amazing. But, however, here's where the story gets interesting, because they said in Fulani culture, in Fulani culture, uh, your first marriage, if you get it married, your friend, let me just play it, man. Let me play it. Meaning your first marriage. So your friends will come in your. Uh, they will pick one cow from all your cows that they can um, they can uh, kill and eat. And this is something that they um, they inherit from their ancestors, and the ancestors inherit this culture from their own ancestors. You know. So when they came. Uh, the young man, he took his friend to go show them the cows. He said, choose any cows that you want so, you know, you can kill it and eat it. And the friend said, you know what? The only cow that we like is Bajibi Singe. That's the one we're going to kill and we're going to eat. And then he said, Bajibi Singe Hundono, meaning Bajibi Singe is my heart. Bajibi Singe is my heart. He's like... He's like, there's nothing worth, nothing is worth my life like, like, uh, but you be seeing my, like this cow. This cow is my life pretty much. The cow is my life. He's like, you can take pre- three cows, but please leave this cow. But they said, no, we won't want anything else but Bajabi Singh. We want only Bajabi Singh. That's what we You know? So, and the tradition is that whatever cow, whatever cow the, your friend chose, you cannot say no. It doesn't matter. It does not matter. And that's the culture. That's how it is. I wonder if they still do it. In Niger, we don't have it because most of us don't have, cow, uh, don't have cows anymore. However, I would love to know if um, those who still raise cows, if they still do that. That would be awesome. So he told them, you, okay, you can have Bajabi Singh. Uh, you know, during the, the during the marriage, you can come and you can take it because this this there's nothing else you could do. It, it, this is very sad. I actually I actually told this story in front of a bunch bunch of um, you know Americans here, 
and all the ladies are crying. They really cry and they were very sad. I said, hey, why are you making faces? They're like, it's so sad. I was like, all right, well, it's culture. He's just saying the name of the character. So he's singing the name of uh, the owner is singing the name of the cow and he's saying Malahana. Alhana in, in Zabarma in Songrai means please forgive me. Please forgive me. So he's asking for forgiveness because he could not protect the cow. He cannot save the cow. So he's asking the cow to forgive him. <laughs> So the friend came. They came the day they're going to kill the cow. So they took it. When they came, he called. He is the one who called it. He said, "That's how we. That's how we used to do that. I don't know if you guys can do it, but I could do it. Yeah. That's how we call the cows. So he went with them, and they went far behind the the uh, the village, like far where they're going to go kill it." So they arrive where they have a lot of wood because they're going to need the wood to make fire. So he said, Zanke? They said, yes. Zanke is like children or kids or friends. They said, yes. He said, I'm asking you one thing. He said, please wait until I leave and then you can kill the cow. So, you know, this is very sad. Like, like, he doesn't want to watch the cow being killed. So he said, please, please, I beg you, let me go home and then you can kill it and do whatever you got to do. But I don't want to watch it. I cannot watch it. And you know what the guy said? They say, you know what? That's not the tradition. That's not the culture. And culture is above everything. In traditional culture, you, the owner of the cow, you are the one who are supposed to put the blade on it and, and kill it and slaughter it. Which is awful because I can I can feel his pain, man. I can feel his pain. So anyway, that's what they ask him to do. Is like there's no heart. there's no life. He said, I didn't get what he said. Yeah, he, he actually offered them another, 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 another cow and they said no. So, yep. So they tie the cow, they tie up the feet of the cow and they put it down. And he took out uh, the sword. He, he took out a, a sword. Kasage kabu kabu. So he's like kind of counting the the hair on the back of the cow, I guess, on the back of the neck, and some other things he's counting. I don't know the word. Somebody, somebody, if you can tell me what that means, tell me. So now he's feeling the disconnection between him and the cow. You know, it's like get it disconnected. Malhana, he's the same, forgive me. Malhana, forgive me. That I don't understand very much what he's saying. It's a beautiful song. It's a sad song, but it's a beautiful song. Maybe it's not good for children book because it's a, it's a sad story. But it does show the level of love that somebody can have for the cow. Okay? 
singing all the stuff that I don't necessarily understand. Bajabu. He said Bajo is dead now. Bajo is dead. Bajo is hella jyoti. Bajo is not scared of lion. You know, he's saying all the kind of wild animal that Bajo was not scared of. So that's, ladies and gentlemen, is how our Fulani herder lost his beloved cow. It is very sad. But I thought, I thought it was very, uh, that's another good so song, but uh, it's in Zerma also, so we don't need to go there. The only reason I chose this song is because it's, it's talking about Fulwe. I hope, I hope you really enjoyed this uh, little story of uh, Baje B. Singh. And I'll put the link in the description so you can listen to the song. It's a beautiful song regardless. Regardless, it's really good. Ladies and gentlemen, I really hope you enjoy it. And uh, yeah, I will say peace and love. Keep loving the cows. Keep loving each other. Keep spreading the words. Keep spreading the Fulani words. And uh, yeah, uh, uh, till next time. <laughs>